President Xi indicated on the 20th National Congress of the CPC that we must build China's self-reliance and strength in science and technology. In every industry in Chongqing, a southwest modern metropolis in China, the awareness of innovation has been stimulated. We are a consumer finance enterprise driven by technology, which provides safer and more convenient consumer financial services. A single customer's loan approval can be finished within seconds. The report to 20th National Congress of the CPC mentioned tech innovation. In the future, Mashan Consumer Finance plans to build a strategic research institute of financial technology, a national-level financial technology lab, and we will improve our Tianmar Cup College Tech Innovation Competition to lead the industrial development, to help Chongqing build a technological innovation center and a Western financial center. The key words that propose at the report are closely related to new energy with China accelerating steps to develop new energy as one of the strategic emerging industries. The proposal will provide solid technical support and industrial foundation for its large-scale development and utilization. At present, I'm working on the project of intelligent sensing technology for energy storage lithium-ion battery. In 2021, China's lithium-ion battery shipments reached 324 gigawatt hour, ranking first in the world. Opening up is a basic national policy of China that benefits every aspect of the country. Under the flag of calling for building a community with a shared future for mankind, China is actively playing the role of initiator in the international society. You can find that clue in Chongqing, where the extent of opening up has been improving in recent years. What I feel most deeply is that the 20th National Congress of the CPC proposed to deepen opening up to the world at a high level, jointly promote the construction of the Belt and Road. The China Railway Express was born in response to the Chongqing's industrial development needs. So far, we have introduced more than 100 billion US dollars of foreign investment, and nearly 300 of the world's top 500 companies. The Yuxing Railway has become a favorable support for Chongqing's opening to the world, especially during the COVID 19 pandemic. The stable operation of the China Europe Railway Express has made it a favorable booster and stabilizer for the international supply chain. Our food truck trains, cold chain trains, and epidemic supplies are constantly moving in and out of the country and abroad via the Yuxing Railway and China Europe Railway Express. I'm very proud and honored of this. The ASEAN is one of the most active regions in the global economy and has remained the largest trading partner of China and Western region for many years. The new international land-sea trade corridor effectively connects China with ASEAN countries, shortening the logistic cycle by more than 10 days. This year, we have expanded more than 30 new routes between Chongqing, Ningxia, Gansu, Hunan, and other ASEAN countries like Laos, Vietnam, and Myanmar. 13 RCEP member countries have shipped goods via ILSTC. I believe that the door of China's opening up will only get wider. It will share more development opportunities with other countries in the world, jointly build a community with a shared future for mankind. The 20th National Congress of the CPC proposed to deepen opening up to the world at a high level, which pointed out the direction for the future construction of the China-Singapore Chongqing Demonstration Initiative on Strategic Connectivity. As an official of the Opening Up Front, I will integrate and make good use of Singapore and its international resources to attract more domestic and international market players to participate in the CCI's construction. Dare to think and act, and dare to chase dreams. Chinese people from different industries are contributing their parts. Building an inland opening up highland, Chongqing has never stopped. <laughs>